This is Bennu, one of Earth's closest planetary neighbors, an asteroid roughly the height of a skyscraper, a remnant from the dawn of the solar system made of carbon-rich rocks and boulders. And since late 2018, the place that NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has called home. When OSIRIS-REx arrived, it began wrapping Bennu in a complex web of observations, starting with a preliminary survey of its size, shape, August 11th, OSIRIS-REx departed its home orbit and made a four-hour traverse to Bennu's northern hemisphere, retracing its earlier path. After performing the checkpoint engine burn to begin its descent, it made a second engine burn called Match Point to match Bennu's rotation before backing away at an altitude of approximately 40 meters. Now, the most crucial moment of the mission had arrived. On October 20th, 2020, at approximately 11.30 a.m. Mountain Time, the spacecraft departed orbit. A few hours before, mission controllers on Earth had sent the commands for the touch-and-go sample collection maneuver, or TAG. As they watched with anticipation, OSIRIS-REx steered itself to Sample Site Nightingale, maneuvering toward the small crater at the walking pace of a spider. At 4.11 p.m., the mission received confirmation. OSIRIS-REx had touched down and collected its sample. Following TAG, the spacecraft drifted to a safe distance away from Bennu. By the end of October, mission controllers determined that it had exceeded its goal of collecting 60 grams of asteroid material. They directed it to stow the sample in preparation for return to Earth. Before departing Bennu, OSIRIS-REx was given one final task. On April 7th, it flew over Site Nightingale to observe how the sample collection event had changed the surface. And with that, OSIRIS-REx had recorded its mark on Bennu and spun the last strand of its web.